Hello there. Welcome to another video tutorial from Jack's Tech Corner. This video tutorial today we will be starting to look at Adobe Photoshop Elements 6 and how we import pictures by using Adobe Photoshop Elements 6. Now to do this we're going to simply plug in our camera to the computer or memory card and we will be prompted um, immediately with an application that's already loaded on the computer. And once you load Photoshop Elements, you're going to see down here this little Adobe Photo Downloader. Hopefully you can see that. I know a lot of times the resolution is not too great on these videos where you can actually pick things up, but it sits down in your system clock. And if you hover your mouse over it, it will say Adobe Photoshop Downloader. So to use that application, we don't have to open anything. I'm going to right now, I'm going to plug my memory card into a memory card reader which you can't see this and maybe I gotta get a camera up here and I can film some of this other uh, operation that goes on here but I'm going to plug the memory card reader in the computer is going to recognize it and it's going to ask me what do I want to do with it and I'm simply going to say I don't have to say anything look at that we don't have to do a thing with that and just cancel it out And what we're going to see here is Adobe Elements Automatic Downloader. You can see here it says Photo Downloader. It comes up and it's reading my card. My, uh, my G drive is basically my card reader. And it's the Nikon D80. That's the camera that I shot these with. Now these are the individual um, basic thumbnails on that card that I want to download into my computer. And I was just playing around in the computer room the other day and took these different shots. So we want to actually download those now from my card to my computer. And if we go over here, I always like to use a custom name. I always teach this in my classes. The reason I do that is because then the folder it creates under my pictures is something that I'm going to recognize when I go to back them up or do anything with the individual folders. So in here, just write, um, let's see, test shots. And I shot these on um, March, uh, what's today's date, 24th. I shot these yesterday. Okay. Now, do not rename files. I'm not going to rename them uh, normally, but let's go ahead and for now we are going to rename those. Let's say we're doing a birthday party and we want to make sense out of them. The custom name will be um, test shots so each picture will be called test shot underscore zero 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 one and it'll work its way up one two three four and so forth now open organizer when finished we want to do this because we want the organizer to open once we have all of our pictures imported into the Photoshop elements automatically fix red eyes although this sounds like a really great idea do not automatically fix red eyes this is not a good uh, idea as far as fixing it because what's going to happen it's going to take an awful long time for you to actually import everything um, into your computer because it's going to look at each individual picture so don't automatically fix red eyes automatically suggest photo stacks we'll talk about that later you don't really have to do that make a group custom name or a tag now um, you don't have to do that either this is very important. After copying, delete originals. That means the memory card is going to be deleted, cleared of all pictures. It's kind of funny because I once had this older, uh, uh, older person come to my class and open up a shoebox full of memory cards. And I said, why do you have so many memory cards? And they simply said that all of the little film discs were full and you know they didn't want to disturb them. So they would print them at, at a local uh, convenience store. They would print their pictures off and always leave the, the pictures on the memory disk and keep buying more. Um, those memory disks, as you know, I'm sure, can be deleted off. We clean those babies off and uh, reuse those as much as we want. Thank goodness, because if you buy a 2 gig or a 4 gig memory disk, yeah, it's going to set you back 50, 60 bucks. Now, the apply metadata, I never use any of that. Of course, you can. You can put the author, the author um, Jacko, 
because I took the pictures. Copyright, that's up to you. We can do a copy, uh, copyright on there if we want. Automatic download means every time you hook the camera up, it's going to automatically download it. We're not going to do that. One other thing over here, see where it says uncheck all? We can uncheck all these pictures and only check on the ones. Maybe you want to only import and work on a couple pictures. Once you're completed, everything looks good here. And uh, once again, this is the advanced dialog. Look, this is standard dialog. This is normally what we get when we first uh, bring it up. But always go into the advanced dialog because you're not going to be able to see us automatically fix red eyes. And by default, that is checked. Now, let's go ahead and click on get pictures or get photos. This is going to download our photos. It's pulling them off the memory card right now and pulling them onto our computer hard drive. It's a very simple and uh, efficient way to do this. And then once it's done, it's going to open up Adobe Photoshop Elements 6 Organizer. So you can begin working on those pictures. Um, and that part will be a, another video segment. I just wanted to show you in this segment how we actually download the pictures onto the computer because I get a lot of questions about this of how you would actually do that. And seeing that this is a lot of Adobe Photoshop Elements 6 tutorials, I figured I would start here and we're going to work our way right up through uh, Photoshop Elements 6. So now it's deleting the pictures from the memory card. They're gone. That way I can put in my camera and it's fresh again, ready to take some more pictures. Uh, weather's starting to break. We'll start to, uh, start to go outside and start to be getting more and more pictures. So it's, it's about that time of the year. Uh, i got a canoe this year, so I'm hoping to hopefully uh, get the camera out onto some lakes and uh, be able to take some pictures and maybe some fish jumping up out of the water. Could be kind of fun. Hopefully I don't drop the camera in the water. That could be kind of bad. So as you can see, Photoshop Element uh, 6, the organizer is opening up. And our pictures will be populating here pretty quickly. Um, there we go. And we're going to be importing those. And what you're seeing right now, this is actually the pictures we just imported. And you can get this little box. The only items in the main window are those you just imported. To see the rest of the catalog, click Show All. You can click Don't Show uh, Don't Show This Again if you wish. I leave a couple of these nag screens on until you get used to using the program. At that point, just simply click OK, and these are all of our pictures in the organizer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the importing tutorial on Photoshop Elements 6. Uh, the next tutorial, we'll start looking at the organizer and start working a little bit with that to get you familiar with it. And uh, then uh, hopefully with these uh, videos, I'm going to just start working my way right up through to uh, different types and segments and uh, teach as much as I can teach you about uh, using Photoshop Element 6. Thank you very much for watching Jack's Tech Corner video tutorials. Spread the word out there and uh, email me if you have any questions at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Thank you and have a good day.